Bonjour à tous, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Learn French with Madame. Aujourd'hui, on va parler au sujet de chapitre 8, vocabulaire de à la maison. So in this chapter, we had previously talked about chores and things that you might do around the house. This part of the chapter is talking all about the house and things that you might find in your house and how to describe your house or your apartment. So this video specifically is talking about describing certain rooms and things that you might find in a room like a couch or a nightstand or a dresser, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, donc on va commencer. La première mot, c'est le balcon. Le balcon. Okay, take a guess. What do you think le balcon is? Oui, balcony. Excellent. Facile. Le balcon. La prochaine, on a un tableau. Now, this one might be a little bit hard to guess because we've learned un tableau as a board, like a blackboard or a whiteboard. So, un tableau is actually a painting. Un tableau is actually a painting as well. So, we can say le tableau if we're talking about something with school. And we can say un tableau or le tableau if we're talking about Maybe in a museum or in a house, we're talking about a painting. So two different meanings, but same word. La prochaine, on a la cuisine. We should remember this from when we did our first set of vocab. We said faire la cuisine was to do the cooking or to cook. And I taught you that la cuisine back then was the kitchen. Okay, continue. Ça, c'est la salle à manger. La salle à manger. What do you think la salle à manger is? Excellent. Dining room. Très bien. Okay, aussi, on a les escaliers. L'escalier, l'escalier c'est ça. L'escalier is this whole big thing. And les escaliers are the individual ones. So, l'escalier is a staircase, and les escaliers are the stairs. So, l'escalier, the staircase in general, les escaliers are the stairs. Okay. Aussi, ça c'est le rez-de-chaussée. This is usually a little bit hard for kids to grasp just because it's different than in French. So, or then in English. So, re de chaussée is the ground floor. In English, we call it the first floor. But just know, le re de chaussée is the ground floor. Re de chaussée, ground floor. Okay, and a fun fact, when you go to like a hotel in France, it will usually say re de chaussée, and then sometimes they'll have it say it in English as well, where they say ground floor. So next time you're in an elevator, take a look and see if it says G for ground floor, which we usually call the basement. But in French, re de chaussée is the first floor, that floor where you're going to walk into. Okay, on continue. Ça, c'est la première étage. La première étage, in French, they call it the first floor. In English, we call it the second floor. So if you'll notice, all of the floors are just one off. So re de chaussée is that ground floor. Premier étage is the first floor. And then if you go up, la deuxième étage, the second, troisième étage, the third, et cetera, et cetera. In English, though, they're one floor off. So if you get confused, if you're in an elevator in France, just know that la première étage would actually be the second floor for you in English. Okay. La prochaine, c'est la deuxième étage. I just talked about this one, but la deuxième étage in French is the second floor. In English, we call it the third floor, though, because we don't really use ground floor a lot. Okay, la prochaine, c'est l'armoire. L'armoire, some of these words might be a little bit hard for you because you don't really talk about them or talk like this in English. But l'armoire is a wardrobe. 
So this is different than a closet. Think of like if you go to a really fancy hotel when you hang your clothes up in like this armoire, we call it an armoire in English, but it's a wardrobe. It's a freestanding closet, if you will. So l'armoire is a wardrobe or in other words, a freestanding closet, something that's not inside the wall, but a closet that you can move around kind of. All right, la prochaine, ça c'est la chambre. La chambre c'est facile. La chambre, the bedroom. La chambre. Et aussi, on a une chaîne stéréo. Une chaîne stéréo is facile. It has the word in it in English, so chaîne stéréo is a stereo. Aussi, on a une commode. Une commode is a chest of drawers. So this is different than a dresser. If a lot of kids don't know this in English. So a chest of drawers is one that looks just like this picture. It's usually a bit taller and it's all vertical. A dresser is usually more horizontal and smaller, like height wise. So a chest of drawers is usually taller and a dresser is usually more horizontal and a bit shorter. But une commode is a chest of drawers. Okay, et ça, une étagère, une étagère is a shelf. So think of this like this. We learned la deuxième étage, la première étage, etc., etc. We said use that as floors. Think of like the floors of a house or the floors of an apartment are just shelves, big shelves, if you will, where you house things, right? House people. So une étagère is a shelf. Une étagère is shelf. La prochaine, la lampe, or une lampe, c'est facile. It's really easy. La lampe, it looks just almost like the word in English. La lampe is the lamp, or a lamp if you say une lampe. Aussi, ça c'est le jardin. Le jardin. Take a guess. What do you think le jardin is? We oui, garden, facile, garden. Le jardin, garden. Okay, la prochaine, ça c'est les toilettes. You should remember this from class. We say, puis je aller aux toilettes. When we're in person, puis je aller aux toilettes. Can I go to the bathroom? Donc, les toilettes are literally like the toilets. Think of it like that. If you say, um, puis je aller aux salles de bain, which we're going to learn here coming up. Salle de bain is usually where you're going to wash yourself. So les toilettes in French and France will usually just have a toilet and a sink. Most of the time they'll have a bidet as well. But les toilettes are literally just like a half bath in English where we don't have any bathtub, no shower, nothing like that. Okay, la prochaine, ça c'est la salle de bain. La salle de bain, c'est différent que les toilettes. It's different than the restroom or the bathroom. Now, in English, it gets a little bit confusing because we use the same word, bathroom for a place where you would bathe yourself, where you'd shower or take a bath, and also a bathroom where you just have a toilet and a sink. So in French, they have two different words. They have les toilettes for a place with restroom where you just have a toilet and a sink, and la salle de bain, where it's actually where you're going to bathe yourself. That's why they call it a bathroom. So you take a shower there, you take a bath there, but la salle de bain is the bathroom. Okay. On continue, ça c'est un sofa facile. Absolument facile. Un sofa is a sofa or a couch. Très bien. OK? Aussi, on a une table de nuit. Une table de nuit. Take a guess. What do you think une table de nuit is? Nightstand. Excellent. 
nightstand, it literally translates to a table of night. So nightstand and table de nuit. Aussi, on a un fauteuil. Un fauteuil. Un fauteuil is an armchair. So something that you usually have in like a living room. They have like a sofa or a couch. Sometimes they'll have an armchair, but it's just a freestanding chair that's got arms to it. Un fauteuil, an armchair. Un fauteuil. I'm going to have you say that word for me because it's a little bit hard to say. So I'm going to say it and then I want you to repeat after me. All right. Here we go. Un fauteuil. Excellent. Parfait. On continue. Ça, c'est un placard. What do you think un placard is? Closet. Très bien. Excellent. Closet or cabinet. I put cabinet there, but un placard is usually used for a closet. And this is the kind that's like in the wall that you can't move. Okay. Aussi, ça c'est un lit. We should also know this from our last set of vocab when we said faire son lit, to make one's bed. So un lit is the word for a bed. Aussi, on a un tapis. Un tapis is un peu difficile. Un tapis is a rug. A rug. So un tapis, a rug. La prochaine, ça c'est une table base. Une table base is a coffee table. Une table base, coffee table. Aussi, le garage, c'est facile. Le garage is a garage. So a lot of these words too are cognates and a cognate is something that looks like the word in English. So, le garage is a cognate for garage in English. It looks just like the word in English. Just pronounced a little bit different. Prochaine, la prochaine vidéo. So, the next video, on va parler au sujet des phrases. So, the next video, we're going to talk about for raises and asking about a house or asking about an apartment or asking about things you might find in one of those places. But I hope that this video was super helpful and I hope that this set of vocab isn't super hard so far. There's lots of cognates, so lots of words that look like their word in English. And hopefully that helps you with remembering some of this vocab. Si vous avez des questions, if you guys have any questions, N'hésite pas à m'envoyer un email. Don't hesitate to send me an email. Mais c'est tout pour aujourd'hui et à plus.